Welcome back. Um, this is Josh from Series Greenhouse Solutions again, currently outside of Madison, Wisconsin, in front of an 18 foot by 36 foot backyard kit. The backyard kit is similar to our other greenhouse kits. Um, it is 18 feet north to south. It is a single slope greenhouse, as you can see here, uh, similar to our 30, 23 foot deep greenhouses. Um, so it's slightly smaller in depth. And the main difference is that we offer it with south facing windows as opposed to glazing for aesthetic purposes. Um, the south facing roof has glazing just like our other greenhouses. Um, in this greenhouse, and I'll show you in a second, um, she is growing everything you can imagine. Um, tomatoes, peppers, eggplant, broccoli, carrots, melons, cucumbers, zucchini. And she also has a citrus nursery that she's starting that has Meyer lemon, mandarin orange. There's a peach tree as well as a dwarf avocado. And everything is incredibly happy. She's produced way more food than she can handle. And she's very excited to move into winter because in Wisconsin, growing peaches or tomatoes isn't normally a thing. So again, 18 by backyard kit. This one's 36 feet east to west. Insulated east wall, west wall, north wall, glazed south facing roof, glazed south wall with windows that open. So we're on the south wall of this backyard kit right now. I'm going to show you a secret weapon that she's deployed because this is a vented greenhouse. And that is shade paint. So around June, she saw temperatures were starting to rise. And so she began with shade paint as one stage of her cooling system. As you can see here, some glazing that didn't get the shade paint and some glazing that did. Um, but the majority of the roof is very much covered in shade paint. And the idea with shade paint is that we can reduce thermal loading, heat transferring into the greenhouse by a larger percentage than the amount of light that we eliminate coming to the greenhouse. So maybe 7% light is lost, but 14% thermal loading is lost. So it's a net gain for cooling. Uh, just want you guys to see a well-painted shade paint roof. Now, come fall, it's mid-August right now, in another month or so, there is a removal agent that you will spray on this, rinse the whole roof, and it will all come off and you'll be back to clear glazing to take advantage of as much light as possible in the Wisconsin winter. And now we'll just take you on a quick tour of the greenhouse. This is year one. This is just getting started. She has a GAT system with a transition manifold on it. Allows us to take either outside air or inside air. Take you over here. This is a new planting of tomatoes to offset her existing tomatoes, which are giant and creating shade and also delicious. Don't tell her, but I've been eating them all day. But just the cherry ones. It's also a really nice way to harvest tomatoes. They're hanging, you can easily get to them. Peppers are looking amazing. Eggplants are everywhere. Cantaloupe. So she's already harvested most of the cantaloupe. More tomatoes, big, nice tomatoes. And here in the back, she's got mandarin orange, avocado, Meyer lemon, a peach variety, some strawberries. And I'll just take you back over here. You'll see it looks to be the end of her broccoli harvest.
some new zucchini, more pepper, and a replanting of cucumbers already fruiting. So I just wanted to get another shot of the inside of the greenhouse with the shade paint. As you can see, there's a smokiness to the shade paint as opposed to the clarity of the windows, um, which gives you a nice feel for what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to block some of the light and even more of the heat so that the summers don't have to be so hard to cool in the greenhouse. All right, so here I'm just showing you the ground air heat transfer fan with the transition manifold. So this is the intake for outside air, and up there is the intake for inside air. Today is a warmer day in the summer, and so we have the plenum taking outside air because it's cooler outside than it is in the greenhouse. Walk around this side, and you can see the motors that control both the lower plenum that goes outside as well as the upper plenum that closes the damper to the inside. This is the GAT system with the transition manifold. 